It's your plus politics. Now, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has thrown open its ticket for the 2023 presidential elections. Rising from its 96th National Executive Committee meeting in Abuja, the party said after a very extensive deliberation, the committee aligned with the recommendation of the National Zoning Committee that the presidential election should now be left open. Now, the NEC also added that the party should also work towards a consensus candidate. Now, earlier, the committee led by the Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn had recommended that they recommended that zoning, even though in the constitution of the party, be jettisoned for the 2023 general elections. Well, joining us to discuss this is Ken Robinson. He is the National Publicity Secretary of PANDEF. And we're also being joined by a political analyst, Dickin Bassi Okon. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for this opportunity. Good evening to you, Mary Ann, and the crew, and good evening, Nigeria. All right. Um, well, well, I'll start with you, um, Mr. Robinson, because uh, Pandev has released a statement um, on uh, at, at, as the result of uh, the PDP's position on zoning. Um, I know that before now, you and I have had a conversation as to what Pandev, the Middle Belt Forum, and other um, you know um, groups have have made um, you know about the issue of zoning not just for the PDP but all political parties I remember the last one was about the fact that these groups were not going to support any political party that was not picking a candidate from the south but here we are the PDP is saying come one come all um, why what is the position of PANDEF on this particular matter now that the die is cast it's, it's quite unfortunate and um as we contained in the statement issued by Pandev, and we, we are speaking uh, the same in the same tandem with the, uh, the African Federal Group, the Middle Belt leaders, and of course, our amazing people. Recall that uh, earlier we had issued the statement after the Oakland uh, Committee submitted this report. We issued a strong statement. Leaders of this, this region issued a strong statement, including Chief P.K. Uh, Clark, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, and of course, Professor Obiozo and Dr. Pogu Britis. We issued a strong statement condemning the, the recommendations of the Autumn Committee. And it was uh, understood from the commission's thought that uh, the, the NEC was going to ad completely adopt that recommendation. Because months back, uh, there have been fillers, and of course, we call that uh, Governor Bashu State, uh, Governor Bala Mohammed, had also uh, recommended something similar earlier in 2001. So it is unfortunate and it's a shame that uh, a party that is built on the principles of equity, fairness, and justice, and whose constitution um, clearly commits it, itself to uh, the policy of rotation and zoning. Uh, in the pursuance of um Mr. Robinson, are you still there? Mr. Robinson, yes, I, I'm with you. Okay, we lost you for a second. All right, let, let, let me let me look at what um, the party chairman had said a few a few weeks ago. He talked about the fact that the People's Democratic Party would maintain its zoning policy. He said, and I quote, the PDP has a history of rotating our offices. Anybody who doesn't get it this time should wait after the tenure of whoever will be the next president. But of course, everything has turned and taken a U-turn. This is like I said in the opening, the governor uh, of Benue State, Governor Autumn, uh, was the first to recommend, uh, apparently, the jettisoning of you know um, zoning uh, in the PDP. Um, what do you think the chances are, or why do you think the PDP has decided to take this route? Um, being that, again, may, at some point, the, the former Senate president, Bukola Saraki, had suggested that the PDP might have to go with a consensus candidate. Um, but if the South is as strong as it should be within the People's Democratic Party, and the ticket is being thrown open, shouldn't the South be pushing or pulling its weight to make sure that um, somebody from their camp, you know, wields that flag at the end of the day, other than just saying that, you know, if you don't support us, then we don't support you. Mary, uh, Nigeria is a great country with uh, full of great men and women. 
no individual should take the country, take Nigeria for granted. What, what the PDP is doing, the, the, the leadership of um, Professor Ayu, uh, Senator Ayu, from inception till date, a script was handed over to them and they are playing out that script. It is clear who the target is. Who do you and think? Who, what, who's, who's, who, who gave the script? And, 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 I mean, I'd like to know who you think gave the script that you think I, they're playing. I, I, have just told, I have just told you what the Bola Mohammed Committee did in, in 2021. And as far back as December uh, 2021, we have uh, very strong information that this was the direction they were going to go. And we know the persons involved. Uh, and so we have issued a strong statement saying that with this decision that the BDP has done, jettison zoning in, in, in favor of whatever they call it, merit or whatever. And we have said that merit, everybody, there is no place, there is no section in Nigeria that is, that is in want of men of character and integrity that are capable and, uh, to, to become president of Nigeria. So, so the BDP, as it were, has simply dug its own grave. And, and the insinuations that uh, the BDP needs someone from the north, a northern presidential candidate to win election, is fallacious because the PDP has won election with Chief Police of Bastinjo and uh, Dr. Goodluck in Village Jordan. These men are not, are not Northerners. They are, they are from southern Nigeria and they won against Northerners in, in, in various elections in, 2000 and, in 1999, 2003, and 2011. So the, the, the contemplation that it is only a Northern candidate that can give the PDP victory is, 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 is misplaced and is, is, is just a, a hallucination. And we are saying that the PDP uh, is as dog is great, and we will mobilize our people uh, with our interest groups across Nigeria, patriotic Nigerians and well-meaning Nigerians. And we are expecting that the all progressive Congress will take advantage of this um, this callous this in this in this indiscretion by the PDP hmm. to fill the candidates of Southern um, okay. extraction. Okay. And, and, and um, sustain their legacy uh, as it were, okay. or, or, or demonstrate to Nigeria that they are a truly patriotic nationalistic party that is committed to the unity, peace, and progress of Nigeria. Okay. Let me go to you, Dikimbashi Kon. Uh, what's your position on um, the route that the PDP has decided to take on the presidential ticket, throwing it open uh, for all who are interested? Uh, well, thank you very much. For me, it's a welcome development. Um, the, 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 the more urgent uh, thing this season in the next uh, elections is to afford Nigerians the opportunity of having a new um, party in government. That is a more urgent need because um, presently we are, we are in dire straits as a nation, as a people. Um, The economies, I mean, you can't lay your hand on anything that is functioning or that is working under the present administration. So, for me, um, whatever strategy that, um, that the PDP has found best, be able to bounce back to power, it is a welcome uh, idea. It, I welcome it in its entirety. I want the ticket thrown open, but let the strongest man, let the best man take it. That best man, I'm sure, will be the one to, with the best capacity. Now, but, but when, you, when we talk about best man or may the best man win within political parties, you and I understand that it's not just about what he has upstairs or his blue uh, his blueprint it, it goes beyond that it goes it goes as far as financial might and how he's able to convince the delegates so we may end up we may end up or could we end up with someone who's not necessarily Sorry? what we want in nigeria today uh, mr kong can you hear me I think, I think we have some I think, I, think that, with you. I, I think that's you well at all. Okay, I'm going to ask the question again. You talked about the best man winning, and I'm saying when we're talking about inter-party politics and whatever route it might go, whether it's direct or indirect primaries, and if it's a delegate issue, it comes down to who 
wields the more financial power and who's able to get more delegates. Uh, but then does that boil down to the best man? And when we're talking about the best, we're saying someone who can really steer the ship of this country in the right direction. So really, should we be doing that? Yes, it's, it's, it will show up the best man, uh, whether direct or indirect. I believe that um, the delegates are Nigerians. What I feel is what they feel. What you feel is also what they feel as far as the situation in this country is concerned. So I believe strongly that the delegates of the PDP, they will be out to pick the man that will be able to give us a new uh, a, a new country, in it, uh, uh, so to speak, well, within the very within from like within hundred days, we should see a trajectory of victory for the people of success. We should be able to have success stories within hundred days you know, of the next man that will sit on that uh, on the position of the of the president. So. Let's not look at um, the process or the processes that we we'll meet. But, but the processes do matter. Don't the processes matter? Because we see it happen, and it's not just in the PDP. It's the Nigerian way of politicking. The deepest pockets and the man who's able to get more delegates might end up being the flag bearer. But does that boil down to him being capable of doing the job? That's my question. I'm asking it again. Processes are important. They matter so much. But my conviction is that because we are in dire straits and we are all feeling this, the bad economy, the, 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 uh, the problem of insecurity, collapsed education system, uh, dwindling value of the Naira, we are all in this boat together as a people. Delegates are Nigerians. They are our brothers and our sisters. You know, they will do their best to, to, you know, to ensure that the person who, who is best prepared, the best of the season, actually gets a ticket. I just want to take your, I, I want to take your mind back. I'm so sorry to speak over you. Uh, I, I will let you speak, but I want to take your minds back to 2015. The pros and cons of the. I'm sorry, Mr. Coney. Can you hear me? I want to take your mind back to 2015. Nigerians were right exactly where we are today, in dire straits. We wanted anybody else but the president that we had. And here we are in 2022. Same situation, maybe even worse. And we're also saying, oh, and you are actually saying, we're in dire straits. So we, would, we need somebody to save us. So must we make the same mistakes? Because it's sounding like it. It's looking like it. It's barking like it, and I'm really wondering if we're about to make that same mistake, anybody else but who we have sitting in that position. Can you hear me? Oh, I think that we're having connection problems with you. I'm going to throw the same question back to Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson, can you hear me? Would you be able to attempt that question? Because... Um, I don't think we can hear Mr. Okun. I, I won't try to attempt that question because the issue for us uh, in Pandef and uh, the southern Nigeria is about not particularly who becomes the next president. The next president should come from southern Nigeria. Let us restate the fact that the presidency of Nigeria is not the presidency of the party. And therefore, President Muhammad Buhari would have spent eight statutory years in office by 2023. So the next president of Nigeria should come from southern Nigeria. That's the point we're making. Regarding the, the comments that were made by Mr. Kohn uh, concerning the best person as a new country, we cannot have a new country based on inconsistency and dishonesty. We, we cannot have a, a, new, a new country where people don't respect protocols and arrangements that have sustained the oneness of this country. Zoning and rotation of offices is, is, is a panacea for crisis in Nigeria. It has brought about maintain some level of sanity in our quality and thinking that it is always a particular person. Let us not, let us not deceive ourselves. What is going on in PDP is shameful. And, and I, I hope that Nigerians will be firm and strong enough to say, look, enough of this and decide for themselves 
who should be the next president of the next president of Nigeria. But, I, I but, but Senator Ayu has said that. But Canada. Senator Ayu has said that anybody who doesn't get it this time, that he's all about fair play. He's all about fair fairness. For, I mean, if you think that the South should be the ones getting the ticket, then let all the Southerners come and show, um, you know, if they're able to win the votes. And he's saying that if you don't get it this time, then you wait for another tenure where you'd be able to get it. That is insulting. With due respect to Mr. Party Chairman, that, that's the man who has been in PDP and has enjoyed offices because of zoning. In fact, the office he occupies now is, is, is on the basis of zoning. And it, it's surprising that he could make such statements. And with due respect to him, it's unacceptable. When, when we had 12 Northern as far as in 2018, did anybody tell anybody to wait till 2023? Nobody. People decided that it should go that way, and, and all the aspirants were from the north. And, and most of them are running now again. The presidency of Nigeria is not anybody's best fight. It's nobody's destined to, be, to, to occupy that office alone. We, we are 200 and something million Nigerians, and, and about 50 million Nigerians are, are, are adults who are able to uh, preside over Nigeria and direct the affairs of this country. So it's not anybody's best right, and nobody should arrogate himself the, 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 the right to, to be president and, and, and continue to violate, callously and carelessly uh, violate rules and protocols that have been established uh, in the interests of Nigeria. So, so we will continue to insist that the presidency of Nigeria must rotate to southern Nigeria, and we are using this opportunity again, advise the APC to, to take advantage of this, this, this callous uh, indiscretion by the PDP, and, and demonstrate to Nigerians that it respects and it is committed to equity, fairness, and justice by, by ensuring that a Southern emerges as the party's presidential candidate for the 2023 elections. I think the case that, and I'm not in any way speaking on behalf of the People's Democratic Party or Senator Ayu in the first instance, but he keeps making a case, uh, you know, saying that all they're interested in right now is to save Nigeria, to take the country from the opposition. And he has added that the party will be at liberty to rotate the party ticket as it wishes after it returns to power. In other words, they will be honoring the zoning formula after 2023. Does that give you any how can, form of... How can you how can you save Nigeria on, on, on inconsistency? I ask again. How can you save Nigeria when you're trying to shift the goalposts in the middle of the game? That's what PDP is doing. There is a zoning arrangement. The presidency of Nigeria is the presidency of Nigeria. President Muhammad Buhari comes from a certain part of the country. And it is unthinkable that anyone will think that we will welcome another Northern Ireland for another eight years or, or four years or eight years or, or, or thereabouts in, in, in this country. In, in a diverse and complex country like Nigeria, we must restate that it is the even sharing of power uh, that, that brings about uh, cohesion and harmony and unity and progress. And when you begin to violate processes like that, what you're asking is that anybody can do whatever he likes. And, and it's not good for, for, for Nigeria. I'll ask a quick question before I go back to Mr. Uh, Basiokon. What should Nigerians be prioritizing, and Nigerians including you, Pandef, and every other forum that's out there, in 2023? Is it... Is, is it zoning or is it a president that's capable to take us out of the doldrums? And I'm not in any way asking this question on behalf of the People's Democratic Party, but I'm asking you as a Nigerian, what should be our priority? Let me answer you by saying that the, the, the basis of crisis in any country, in any society, in organization, is poor management of interest. What the PDP is doing now is poor management of interest. And we, we cannot treat symptoms. The symptoms of, of, of the economy, of, of, of insecurity, banditry, those are symptoms of, of the unknown gunmen in certain parts of the country. Those are symptoms. What, what are the causes? It's disaffection, it's, it's, it's delusion, it's, it's lack of hope. For, for instance, you, you can't, there is no, nothing you can give to me to induce me to go and kill someone or to go and commit uh, some, some sort of crime or, or, or kidnap or something like that. Because I, I have hope, I have believed in this country, I have believed in myself, I have believed that there is a future for me as a person, as, as a group of persons that I represent. And, and so it's difficult to find me in some kind of situation. But we have people in this country who have lost hope. 
who, who are completely disaffected, who feel alienated, who, 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 who don't think that there is anything for them in this country, who even don't think that they belong to this country because of the way things are done. And that is what PDP is doing. We must learn to give a sense of belonging to every section and every sector of this country until we begin to treat the main issues and the fundamental issues will be continuing to treat the symptoms and we see these situations uh, repeat itself. So, so it's, it's the interest of Nigeria. It's the national interest of Nigeria. It's not parochial interest. It's not the interest of some rapacious politicians or a certain group of people. It should be the interest of the generality of Nigeria as, as a country. And, and those, those interests include security, of course, includes the economy, but more, m most importantly, the feeling that we are one people. The, the feeling of love, the feeling of that I belong to this country and I want to contribute to the progress, the unity, the stability of this country. That is what is lacking. And what the PDP is doing now is, is, is aggravating that sense of, 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 of exclusion that some persons have over the years uh, perceived that that is what is happening in Nigeria. Some people believe that this country is their country, is what they like that will happen, and what other persons feel does not matter. And that arrogance must stop for us to have a country that belongs to all of us. Hmm. Well, I want to say thank you to you. Uh, Mr. Ken Robinson is of Pandef and Dickin Basiakone is a political analyst. Unfortunately, we lost that connection with him. But thank you, Mr. Robinson, for being part of this conversation. Thank you so much, as always, for this opportunity. All right. Pandef, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you all for staying with us. And that's all for tonight. I'm Mary Anna Cohn. Plus Politics returns tomorrow as we wrap up on the week. We'll still be talking for development. Have a good night.